Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Sunny, a South Korean drama comedy from 2011 that was a surprise blockbuster in its home country. Now this focuses on five women friends who reunite decades after their high school years, which were set in the 1980s. Now over half of the film consists of flashbacks from the 1980s and showcases both the bonding and shenanigans of the schoolgirls. Now, I enjoy watching films involving all kinds of people, and I find female-centric films to be particularly interesting when they are executed well. Uh, films like this are somewhat voyeuristic for me, because it feels like I'm a fly on the wall, and I get to see women interact with one another when there are no men around. It's pretty interesting stuff. Now, this film has great energy and is very charming, with characters that are lovable. It has a very playful tone and the comedy works very well. There's a schoolgirl gang conflict that is introduced early and often, and it's a lot of fun, especially the designated insult girls who pepper insults at one another. There's also an insanely hilarious riot sequence about midway through that's just an instant classic. It's a great scene. But there's also more than enough dramatic uh, character interaction to leave a lasting impression here. And this is especially true during the second half of the film. I must say that I got a little teary-eyed at the end of this one. And uh, there are a few rather intense moments that catch you by surprise. And that's one of the reasons why they are so effective. Now since much of the film is set during the 1980s, it does help a little bit if you were alive during that decade, but when all is said and done, the heavy feeling of nostalgia here works, regardless of whether or not you're familiar with that time period, because the theme of high school friendship is a universal one, and this movie has a lot of heart to it, and it really executes that theme very well, regardless of what era or generation you're from. Now this is a perfectly cast film as well, even though I only recognize two or three of the actresses from films that I've previously seen. Um, Hee Kyung Jin is probably the most seasoned of the bunch. I really liked her performance in Jumong from 2006, an outstanding television series. Uh, Jakarta from 2000, which I will cover in the future, and Holiday in Seoul from 1997. Also, Yun Kyun Shim who you may have recognized from Miss Granny from 2014, Possessed from 2009, or Hansel and Gretel from 2006, is also really good in this. She's basically the main character here, an awkward country girl, and her, man her mannerisms are really spot on. They're really good. And it, I was also very impressed with Sora Kang, who plays the tough girl in this one, a qu very attractive tough girl as well. So I'm definitely going to search out more films and TV series with these ladies in them in the future. So I strongly recommend Sunny, which is available on Hulu right now. It's also available on Region 3 DVD at various websites. Now this is not to be confused. Be careful here. Do not confuse this film with the Korean film from 2008, which is also entitled Sunny but is not as good. Completely different theme, too. Remember, this one was released in 2011 in its home country. And FYI, if you have a little difficulty keeping track of the names and characters, because there, there are quite a few in this one, all you have to do is pause the film for a second, and then go, go and fire up the AsianWiki.com page for this film. It has pictures and names of the characters, which makes it uh, very easy to match up their older and younger versions. Because remember, it shifts time periods. So there's like an older actress playing the older version and the younger actress playing the younger version. It's not a confusing film, but, you know, if you, uh, if you get a little confused with the names, just fire up Asian Wiki and it's very easy to, uh, to keep track of things here. So I recommend this movie. But I have one quick thought before this review ends. If you watch a lot of YouTube movie reviewers, you may have heard of a lady called Alicia Malone. All right. She makes a lot of appearances on the Schmoes No channel, and uh, she also has her own YouTube channel that focuses on American indie films. Well, I sent her some recommendations on female-centric Asian movies a while back, 
and uh, just recently she actually gave me a shout out on her channel. So I thought that was very nice of her. She, it's, uh, it's not something that she's obligated to do. So she seems like a very nice lady, and uh, so I want to give a little shout out to her here. You may want to check out her stuff if you're interested in, uh, you know, American indie films. So I'll include a, a link to her channel in the description box below. So thank you, Alicia. And as always, we'll see you next time.